So there's that trend where the girlies are like, why doesn't anyone hit on us at the bar? And then it flips to a video of them and their friends being kooky and crazy and whatever. I will never ask why no one hits on me at the bar because sometimes they do try. And instead of allowing them, I whip out a deck of cards from my purse and I say, you want to see a magic trick? And they look at me like, what? And then I hold them captive there, force them to watch me do a magic trick, and then they accuse me of being a witch. No, they won't. They'll still pick weird and crazy. That makes you sound like Houdini when it comes to turning suitors into spectators. Next time, cut them in half and call it a night. Hey, everyone, it's great to see you again. Women are struggling to make ends meet. The future doesn't look good for them. Let's get started right away. Are we all fighting for our lives financially right now, or is it just me? <laughs> I have a good degree. I work three jobs. I budget the hell out of my money to an annoying like obsession, like I'm watching every single penny I'm spending because I'm trying to pay off all of my student loans. But ooh, times are tough right now. Like, man, I feel like the more you work, the more you have to pay for. And it is it's tough out there right now. Like, I think I do well. And then I look at my bank account. and I'm like, Oh, my God, or I go to the grocery store. And I'm like, Oh, wow, eggs are $10 again. Woo like, man, <laughs> It is tough right now, and sometimes I feel like I'm the only one, because sometimes I'll look and I'll be like, oh my god, all my, all these people I know are, like, traveling and buying nice things, and I'm like, wow, how? Is there a secret? Someone, someone help? Girl, you have a degree, work three jobs, and pinch pennies so hard they're screaming for mercy, but you still feel worse than an ice cream machine at McDonald's. You know that your friends are having a great time because they are traveling and buying expensive things like they have the cheat codes to life. Instead of making a budget, you might want to make a budget for new people who won't treat their money like magic. But hey, at least you know that being an adult is a scam. You don't even need a college loan to learn that. This is what I'm struggling with in America right now in my 20s. Why is everything so expensive? Why am I making more money waitressing than I would make using my college degree? I barely have a life. I have two days off and I work Wednesday to Sunday doubling just to pay my bills. At 22 years old, all of my bills are in my name. I have no help. How are y'all affording housing? In Myrtle Beach, a one bedroom apartment is $1,500. How are y'all getting insurance, going to the doctor, getting medicine? And then some of us are trying to be TikTok influencers. Who knows where that's gonna get me? Do we need to move somewhere for a better job opportunity that we don't know about? Do any of y'all really know what you want to do with your life right now? It is so scary being in America right now. If you can relate to this, if you have any advice, please comment and let me know. It's ridiculous. She's 23 years old, and all of her bills are in her name. What she's doing is just what every lucky and normal adult should do. Still, she's talking about it. The fact that she paid those bills makes her sound like she's doing something amazing. Ladies, I swear to God. Women like to brag about doing simple things. I also have some suggestions for her. In fact, that advice works for most women. Okay, girls. Ladies, please pay attention. While some of you may not be broke, most of you are because you order takeout too often and too often. Ladies, learn how to cook. In the long run, it will save you a lot of money. I know you're strong and independent, and you don't want to cook for any man. Okay? I get it. That's fine, since you're not really good at cooking anyway. You will save a lot of money in the long run if you learn how to cook. Plus, it's healthy. Men really aren't smart, and I think that they get a little too comfortable saying things out loud, especially on a public forum like the internet. We want to sleep with BBL models, but we want to marry a natural woman. If you think about this for more than two seconds, the reason that they want to sleep with women who have BBLs or fit the beauty standard, because they've hypersexualized women they they consume so much corn that they do not see women as people they see them as objects to their pleasure unless you're talking about natural women because they seem to be want to marry those ones that whole objectifying world women was never a fair point that point of view wasn't valid 20 years ago and it's not valid now either they said like the person who left we want to marry the natural woman also men never told you that you needed to get a bbl it might have been Kim K and a few others like her. Hey, I was so broke. I was negative 95 in the bank. And I was three miles to the tank, to the gas, well, whatever, left in my car. I couldn't even go drive nowhere to pump gas because I didn't even have no money. I 
couldn't even pump. I couldn't do nothing. And I was like, Lord Jesus, please help me. I was crying my eyes out. My face is still swollen. Crying my eyes out. <laughs> And this one dude's like, hey, let's go out to dinner. And I'm like, yes, please. I'm so hungry. I'm tired of eating boiled eggs and grits. <laughs> so he invites me. And I'm like, I'm at three miles to empty. You really think I can make it? And he's like, yeah, I think you can. <laughs> so on my way to that local bar, another dude texts me like, hey, how you been? I'm like, I've been okay. My mortgage went up. My taxes went up. My insurance went up. Everything just went up. And I'm broke because I paid off. So I told him the whole story. He's like, damn, man, I feel you, like, want me to send you something to help you out a little bit? I'm like, I'm negative 95. <laughs> He's like, you think, you think 120? I'm like, I think it'll do, because then I'll be able to put $10 of gas and maybe a snack. <laughs> so, he, anyway, he sent me a little bit more, which was really great of him, uh, because, you know, no one ever has ever sent me money but man yesterday i was going through it and thank you to the guy that invited me to dinner and thank you to the guy that was so nice to send me a little something something because lord i was feeling it <laughs> to begin with it doesn't look like she's only eating grits and hard-boiled eggs she's not telling the truth she does eat more than just grits and boiled eggs though like most women do the second thing is that being a woman is so great she has negative $95 in her bank account, but someone sent her $120, and now some strange dude wants to go to dinner with her. That being said, girls, please stop whining about the pay gap or how hard life is for you. Why? Because someone will always come to your aid. What do you think, guys? At the same time I heard her complaining, I saw that she had plastic surgery. I saw her nails, too. Guys, her eyebrows and makeup look great. Unfortunately, her weight is the only thing that isn't quite right about how she looks. The one thing no one warns you about being a curvier girl going to like a European country or a Mediterranean country is the obsession with European beauty standards and how difficult it is being curvy over there. I just got back from a trip in Greece and like one of the things that was very obvious to me is how much they're obsessed with like being skinny and like skinny women skinny white women i feel like whenever i was out i would see girls who had chef kiss like face cards like wow just beautiful women um and they were like a little bit curvier and like i wouldn't see men really approaching them or it'd be a skinny girl but she was like brown but again face card oh my god on 10 and like again wouldn't see men approaching them I will say the only exception was like Italian men because I'm like more of a curvy girl. Like I'm not plus size or anything like that, but I do have, you know, a bigger butt. Um, and I was always approached by Italian men. And I get that in the US, like European beauty standards also apply, but I don't think it's as bad as it is in Europe. But I don't know, that could just be my personal experience. That's just something that I noticed. I was out there for like 10 days and I was like, mm, I don't know. It was kind of weird. It was. Of course. In what way? What was so strange about it? Greek women look great. Greek guys also like pretty women. So, they will choose other beautiful women over you. That's not strange at all. This is what people are saying on the internet, okay? They're talking about how they, they don't have no money. Like, it's, it's so many young people who don't, know how, who don't have no money. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because we're overspending on other things. We're overspending. We're overdoing it. A lot of us is going out on trips, buying a lot of food eat and take out all the time paying for things that we should not be paying for doing too much all the time like what happened to us like treating ourselves every blue moon like treating ourselves has become a thing every single day every single day young people are wanting to treat themselves with something and that's the problem we're overspending boo you're overspending that's what it is a lot of times it's not people's rent we're overspending we're seeing the amount we're paying the bills and then we're like oh this leftover money, I could use it for something instead of saving. I seen this video, this girl was talking about how she don't have no money saved in her bank account but some change. And she show her bank account. And then she has a credit card, $5,000 in debt off of a credit card. I don't, I don't even know how is that possible. Like, if she was young, like this is ridiculous. A lot of us young people, we, we use too much money. We look at leftover money and we think it's free and it's not. It should be saved for a rainy day. It should be saved for emergencies. 
that's the problem that's why that's why we can't afford nothing that's why we can't afford afford assets and we only can afford a car payment in a house and the bills that come with the house because we're not saving our money women aren't poor because they don't make enough money they are broke because they buy things they don't need or can't afford that cost a lot of money let me show you what i mean they always have a trip planned in fact trips are about the only thing they know how to plan correctly and they cost a lot the trip itself is pricey but there are also many costs that add up before and after the trip guys did you know that a woman can spend more than one thousand dollars on one trip on nail art hair extensions toe tattoos eyebrow tattoos eyelashes hair extensions new shoes and new clothes then add up the cost of the plane ticket the room and any other costs like food so it's easy for them to spend four thousand dollars on a single trip that's not the worst part though they do it a few times a year and then wonder why they're always broke to let people know you like the show click the like button if you click the bell you'll know when i add new pictures thanks for everything you've done do something right away check out more videos of people hitting walls by coming back to this page